Clean AI is a game changer for me as an inspiring video effects artist. One of the best AI video generators on the market, Clean AI is quickly becoming used by all the VFX people on social media. Basically, Clean AI creates an animated video out of a still photo or a freeze frame. I am pretty new to Clean AI, but I have already purchased a one-year subscription to the website. I already feel like an expert as the website is fun and easy to navigate. Here's a look at the pricing. Clean AI offers a free plan, a standard plan, and pro and premiere plans. The free plan includes daily credits, but your videos will have a watermark on them, and one single video generation can take up to three hours, so the free plan isn't really worth it. The paid plan offers more features, such as no watermark, more video generations, and I think things like camera movement, which I haven't experienced yet. The standard plan starts at $7 per month. I think there's a sale right now or something because I remember paying $10 a month with the standard plan. The pro plan costs $26 a month and the premiere plan is $65 per month, which is what I have my eye on because then I could do unlimited downloads and cling AI all day so it would keep me super busy and creative. This is an example that we will be going over now for this tutorial. So now here's my video in Premiere Pro. I have edited everything with Production Crate, After Effects, layering and masking, everything is done. The next step is to export a frame hitting that camera icon in Premiere Pro. I'm going to rename the frame End of the World. I'm going to save it to my desktop as a JPEG. And then I'm going to bring it into Photoshop, image size, and just make sure it's under 10 MB because Clean AI only allows photos or frames that are under 10 MB size. Clean AI has two sections. One is the AI images tab and the other is the AI videos tab. I always use the AI videos. Here there are two options, text to video and image to video. Text to video is creating a video generation based on a text and not a photo image. I always use the image to video where I can create a video generation based on a photo with a written prompt. There are a few different ways to generate prompts. You can use frames and elements as you can see in the tab section right now. Now we're going to focus on elements, which means that we're going to upload a photo or a frame. In this case, it's an edited frame. It's the very last frame of my video. And we're going to generate this without using frames, which means it's just going to create any sort of video and it's not going to start at the frame that I'm setting it to. It's going to start at whatever frame it wants it to. In the negative prompt, I always type in low quality just to make sure it is a high quality video. And this is the result. Notice that it doesn't start at the frame that I uploaded it to. It starts at any kind of frame. So now we're gonna hit the frame section and we're gonna hit start and upload the frame and leave the end frame blank. And then we're going to be as specific as possible with the prompt, write as much as you can without being confusing so AI can really understand what you're trying to do. And then list low quality in the negative prompt so that you always have a high quality video. And then I'm going to hit generate again so we could get a new generation where the frame begins at the uploaded frame. And this is what I get, an asteroid hitting the ground and me falling, which I didn't really like. So I'm going to generate again 35 credits and I'm going to hit that button generate. This is the new result I get, which I love, does exactly what I wanted it to. And now we just want to add this at the end of our video. So I'm going to download without the watermark. It's going to download and then I'm going to drag that download to the desktop and then drag it back into Premiere Pro and then add it at the end so it matches up with the last frame. Now you do see a little cut, a little glitch from the last frame to where the clean AI animation begins. I don't know how to fix that. If anyone has any ideas, just leave a comment in the comment section below. I was also very interested in the lip sync section in clean AI for my selfie music video. So what I did was I filmed myself and then what I did was I took a freeze frame from that filming clip that I did of myself. I took the freeze frame and did this in Photoshop, made myself a mermaid, and then prepped that freeze frame to bring it into Clean AI to animate it, not only just animate it, but also add lip syncing to my mouth. 
I can't believe that I have discovered this new process with cling. It's really going to level up my future videos. To sum up, basically I will film and edit an entire video and as a very last step I will export a freeze frame from that video, typically the very last frame, and I will animate that frame in cling and then I will bring that generated cling animation back into my main video and add it at the end. You can do that for the beginning scene as well. You can also use a program Topaz, T-O-P P-A-Z to make your clean generations very sharp and high resolution, which I know a lot of people are also doing. AI is here to stay, so instead of hating on it, you may as well take advantage of it. My name is Mandy Rosen, also Mandy Rosen VFX on Instagram. I have a feeling you'll see a big change in my videos with Kling. I will be using them a lot in the future. I hope I was able to help, teach, or inspire something in you. If so, please subscribe, comment, thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. I'll see you for the next video, and as always, stay cool.